Welcome to the Nerd Herd Nomad channel. This is our story of how we bought a 2001 Bluebird school bus from Pennsylvania, drove it home to Florida, and we gutted the inside all the way from the floor to the ceiling, and then we raised the roof about 20 inches, and we did it as a family. And we're going to continue our home on wheels and travel the United States and Canada. Okay, so we got this wall up yesterday. Um, today, we're going to build a wall going across. We're going to start the, the transition across. This is the forward bulkhead, sorry, saber talk, wall um, for the bathroom and the rear wall for refrigerator slash kitchen. That's going to go out here. You got to start working our way across and then down on this side. Um, then, we're also going to, from there, we're going to transition and start building this wall here. From the kitchen, this is the bunk walls. We're actually, I've, we've decided to do the center build first, and then from there, work backwards and forwards. Because the center part has the two cross walls. The one just after the bunk room, and the one just before the bunk room. Um, so once we get those two walls up, we can put the air conditioning up above over my head right here, the air handler part anyway. And a lot of other things can start happening um, as we go through and add the side walls. Uh, part of the reason why we're not doing the side walls right now, all the way down, is that we have all of our, our plywood, because I don't have a garage, inside. We don't have a house. <laughs> we have, yeah, yeah, we don't have a house. Well, we have this beautiful lady. Um, so. The, the, a lot of the stuff's on the walls, so we're going to build this, which would take up a lot of that, that um, plywood. That'll make room for us to be able to move that stuff around. We only really have one wall I can lean plywood up against that doesn't have a window. I'm worried about it breaking because plywood gets heavy, and it's on that one wall. It also has to be where the water heater goes, so i got to get to that in order to finish the bathroom. So that's what we're doing. First cross wall, bulkhead, um, and then we're going to work to that. So we're going to build these two chambers first. Shower toilet and or a uh, room of requirement. And then on this side, the two bunks. Yes, the bunks, we're going to have locks on the outside um, so we can lock up our animals. Uh, that's one of them. Yes, local law enforcement won't let us release him out in the wild. Well, they told us no, he's infected. Um, he's infected with Budweiser, or PBR. And then the daughter, also. Yeah. Uh, right. She's infected with, she crazy. So, anyway, that's where we're at, my nerds. Because we trimmed that board down, uh, narrowed it out, because we trimmed it down, we're actually, we pre-drilled the holes in it, because what we didn't want is for the wood to split. So he's putting the screws in, kind of getting them started um, in the pre-drilled holes. And then we're going to put glue on it. We've already drawn a line on the wall. We're going to attach that one. And then we're going to use a piece of aluminum as a straight edge. And with that piece of aluminum, we'll clamp that to the board that's up, that we're about to put up. And that'll tell us how to line up the next board. That's where we're at. For my close up, Mr. DeMille. Yeah, okay, thank you.
we'll go back inside and work on that one. Be right there. Let me do a little show and tell. Here comes a, yeah, let's go to California. Or Mount Vesuvius. But you haven't been there? It's cool. That's over in Italy. That's the mountain that, uh, that blew up, turned Pompeii into a really bad scene. Pretty cool to see, though. I'm sure it wasn't at the time, though. But that, basically what's going to happen, folks, move this back over here. Aim that up a little. About there. Um, the piece of board that's going to go on the wall here, we're going to set it up against this. And it will be, we will, uh, it'll be attached with screws and glue, obviously. It's wood, glue. Uh, the screws are just to hold long enough for the wood to do it. Or for the glue to dry. So we'll put it here, that'll go on here, and that will extend out this way, 32 inches, thereabouts. Um, the refrigerator is 29 inches, but I needed some space behind the refrigerator to get some uh, airflow, keep it cool. And we got fans we're putting down there to help push air to make sure it stays cool. Uh, refrigerators are funny, they work better when you keep them cool. They overheat, they don't work so good. Um, they're not nearly as good, and they go bad sooner too because you're making them work too hard. Now, eventually, there's going to be a wall that goes all the way across, and then it comes down the other side over here. But the refrigerator will slide back in here and actually lean up against this. But there will be some uh, weather stripping, uh, some thick padding weather stripping, so it can push against that, and we'll have something that holds it back against it. And then there'll be another wall over here, about 28, 29 inches, however wide the fridge is, just enough for the fridge to slide in. And then we'll put some of those uh, sticky felt things that you put on the, the bottom of like your chairs or your, your table in your kitchen or your dining room, keep it from scratching up the wooden floors. That, so that the refrigerator has something to kind of, you know, take some of that, that vibration out. Okay, but that's where we're at now. So we've got this wall, we've got to let this dry. And after this wall is done, we've got to smooth this spot right here off, that, that was just to make sure it's nice and smooth. We've got a sander in here. Then we're going to put another wall up here, basically the same routine we're doing with this one. And then we can uh, start working about getting the refrigerator here and getting it mounted up on this little platform we're going to build and stuff like that. That's for the refrigerator. Um, so, now we're going to take a break and watch glue dry. Because it's always fun to watch the glue dry. So I'm going to, uh, again, take you to California. Yep, that's, uh, actually I think Alaska has more earthquakes in California. They're just not as notable. Or maybe it's just because <laughs> not a lot of people in Alaska. Okay, so a few minutes ago, if you were watching, I don't know how order she's going to show you these, but we put down the lid for that wheel well. That's the driver's side rear axle. Okay, then we got one over here. This is a passenger side. If you were paying attention most recently, you would have seen that we had glued and screwed strips of three quarter inch plywood underneath it. basically um, rafters of sorts 
um, for the dish. You can see the, the lines going straight across. That's because there's actually a rafter, kind of a, a two by three going across on the inside. Um, and it's mounted to that sidewall. Whereas the strips of the three quarter inch plywood on this one, they're just, they're glued and screwed. The reason is this one's not gonna hold nearly the amount of weight. Uh, this one holds Pops, and where's Pops at? Let me show you Pops. That's Pops. He's a uh, buck 15 soaking wet. Although he tells people he weighs 150 pounds. Um, yeah. any rate, about to lose battery. So that's that, and that's why um, we screwed it down. It is still solid. I, I was, I was, a minute ago I was up on top of it, and that's part of his bed, the base to his bed. This is the wall that we've got up at this point. I'm going to switch batteries here in a second. This is the, uh, the rear wall for the refrigerator, for the pocket the refrigerator is going to sit in. And it's hard to see, probably. This is a 2 by 3 Okay, it's screwed to this, screwed and glued, and then it's screwed and glued to this three quarter inch plywood. And that goes all the way down. And she's a snug fit, we had to tap her in place. That's also helping to hold the floor from moving. We're about to run another two by three right there, right along that all the way back. And you see that gap right there, the little square cut out? That's where the plumbing, the drain for the uh, sink is gonna be. Because the sink is off to the right over here, underneath this uh, window. The sink's going to be right here. So that's where the water for the sink, and then the drain is going to go down, behind the refrigerator, out this way. Here is a pocket, sorry for the shaking. It's going to run here on the outside, in between there, down. Slowly angling down about an inch for every uh, two to three feet. Um, so maybe a little more than that. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see how much we can get. And it's going to go that way because the drain is over there buried. You can't see it right now. But that's where we're at. Solid pops. Mm -hmm. That is solid. Yep, right going over. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to put something up there later oh, on. Oh, we are. Yeah, yeah we're actually going to put. Um, let me show you what, what pops is pointing at. Okay, if we go up. Can you see it? Up. Up in here. Where it meets these two boards. I don't know if you can see that one or not. That one. These are the furring strips. We're actually going to put a board uh, probably across here between these two firing strips to firm that up and then we'll put another one here uh, to firm that up. <clears throat> we may put one on both sides. Um, matter of fact, we can do it now, Pops, if you want to. Yeah, let me move you guys around. Let me show you what... Uh... So, in Alaska there's earthquakes, but Nobody's there. So do they really happen? Or do they at least make noise? I mean, when a tree falls and nobody's there, it doesn't make any noise. Does an earthquake make noise if there's nobody there? I retired too soon. I have way too much time on my hands. Yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's Corona. Yeah, the, uh, my mom's, she's a nurse. Sweetheart, beautiful woman, love her. Um, she's she's the reason I'm still alive. Well, maybe not the reason I'm still. My wife's the reason I'm still alive. My mom's the reason I'm alive at all. Um, if you can't figure that one out, talk to your mom and ask her what, about the birds and the bees. Uh, but at any rate, so I lost my whole train of thought. Couldn't have been important. What was I going to talk about? I don't know. You just never get it. You're on one of your little tangents.
Yeah, I, I do that. It's, it's Alzheimer's. Um, old time. Oh, I know what it was. Yeah, I was talking to my mom. And uh, she goes, I said, Mom, I think I may have corona. She goes, oh, well, you need to get Dawn to get Lyme disease. Dawn's the wife. Get it? If you don't laugh, I would tell it again. I'm probably going to tell it again anyway. Anyway, we're going to start working on these things up here. I'm going to put it some, to some, some support bracing. Basically, it's just going to be some three-quarter inch pieces of three-quarter inch. We're going to put, um, let's see, we're going to put a couple six-inch pieces, one here, one here, and then on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Just to give this so it doesn't move back and forth. That's not the only support that's going up on top, trust me. Um, but it's the one we're going to do right. Well, hold on. Yeah, it's the one we're going to do right now. So that'll work. Let me clean it off. Before Pops gets back in here and finds out I ain't done nothing. Could that be anything new? So while he's doing that, let me show you what we got here. See that little board right there? right here. Basically it's just up there just to give the wall some su some support back and forth. What we're going to do is take a sheet, um, not a whole sheet, but, but, a, but a you know seven foot piece long, seven long, seven long, seven foot long piece that's going to run. Once we put another one of these walls over there on the other side, because that's the doorway there where Pops is. <laughs> yeah. We're going to run a piece probably uh, about a foot high or, uh, or so, depending on how tall we decide to make the doorway. Um, my height, not your height. <laughs> Wait, do that again. What was that, Pops? <laughs> yeah, my, that's my height? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, no comment. Um, so those two pieces may or may not come down. So, But they're there until, just to support it. So we're not bumping into it all the time, move things around. Uh, so we could finish doing some of the other stuff. So that's where we're at today. <laughs>